hello and welcome everyone to my another tutorial uh, so first time i am giving my voice uh, just pardon me if anything goes wrong so first of all uh, i am wetting uh, my canvas sheet with some water and then i'm applying gesso uh, to prime my canvas to give it a smooth finish so that when we will apply paint over it it will be very easy to blend and all um, and when while it is little wet itself you apply the gesso i'm using cameline gesso here and uh, um, now i will be using ultramarine blue mixed with white to paint the sky and uh, just uh, move your brush in fourth and backward motion um, uh, you until unless that colors come out for sky use little little and then uh, you continue this process um, so i'm continuing here until unless i'm getting that sky color properly so uh, light sky blue color so i'm using it But more thing I would like to add here is uh, that uh, depending on your canvas sheet size you use the brush I am using here flat brush number um, I think it's number 10 uh, so if your canvas sheet is really large use a 2 inch brush or uh, uh, accordingly so it, it's the canvas size is small so i'm using my eight number flat brush or sometimes i use sorry a 10 number flat brush so i think um so i'm doing this process again and <laughs> again uh, here now i have started painting the field so to give the depth to the field i have added sap green and black color together uh, just mix both of them and apply uh, uh, in upward motion in upward direction uh, to give it a feel of field of like leaves are there so many leaves or feel is there so you can directly apply black color and over that you can apply um, uh, sap green color or else you can mix both of them as you mm, the way you like you can continue like that sometimes uh, while mixing we are using the same brush so the it becomes more thick the colors the paints are there sticked on the brush so what we should do is we should wash it thoroughly in the water and uh, wipe it in tissue and then uh, again i have used green color acrylic green color the name is actually um, i think it's viridian hue viridian hue color i have used uh, over here mixed with little bit of uh, black and uh, yellow so i am giving again uh, the same stroke of upward stroke for leaves now i have used lemon yellow color to paint the flowers tulip flowers um in just random way i will paint some big flowers in front uh, randomly here and there many times you will see that black color of backside paint is coming over uh, that yellow um, paint so what we can do is we can wait for some time to, uh, as it is acrylic it will dry very soon um, but <laughs> what I am doing always is I can't wait I just keep on adding uh, layer by layer that's the best part of acrylic paint that you can um, use and you can 
paint it in layers um, it's a very good thing about acrylic i like it uh, that's why most and uh, so i'm taking some more yellow mix uh, same lemon yellow mixed with white and i'm painting now small flowers um, backside just to give a look that those flowers are very far from here it will give uh, that view now continuously i am now adding some more white to the flower sometimes some yellow uh, slowly you will see how the colors are building up now i have mixed a uh, small amount of white in that same viridian green and yellow mix uh, and i am painting the stems uh, of a tulip flower and some more grasses here and there so you can uh, in same color you keep on adding some white some yellow and it will give different shades to the paint color um, without using uh, uh, the same exact viridian uh, green or uh, any color you, if you will mix some here and there color it will give nice shades of uh, them so here i am drawing some random uh, leaves uh, you can see here Now while I am using uh, this um, um, brush I have used here is round brush number um, it's a number uh, 8 from Camlin uh, this brush I am using just to draw the leaves of tulip flower basically I am using uh, these three brush number 9 round brush number four round brush and number 10 flat brush or number 12 flat brush to paint these uh, tulip field so now uh, what i have done is i have taken this um, scarlet lake or red color as you can say and mixed it with the green viridian hue and a color like brownish color has come so i have painted some of those uh, also just to some different shades to give see how i'm mixing these colors little white and that same uh, green previously and like you know it's giving the uh, like stem thin backside stems of tulip flower <laughs> just ignore that palette i have palette but i am uh, very lazy to remove acrylic paints and whatever i'm getting that easiest one is any plastic cover of sweets box or something you can use even i'm using many times a uh, plastic covers of many cloths you can use anything just to put your paint because anyways it's going to dry and um, like if you wish you can wash it it's very good otherwise no problem you can use anything as a palette so here i'm saying a little bit of white and that in green previously which was mixed with lemon yellow viridian uh, uh, viridian hue 
um, and white all mixing together some more yellow in that to the shape is shades are coming of leaves Now you can see again I am adding a little bit of white uh, to give more depth uh, so to show the light and dark part um, so it's optional you can add I love keeping I keep on adding colors till the time I am satisfied uh, with the mix and all that's the best part acrylic as I told you're free you can uh, color the way see when I'm adding white it's giving more vibrancy to the flower more reality like you know it's um, so I'm adding some yellow I think I'm making it make giving a makeup look to avoid that blackish or some color in above section so I'm adding your white some more that same white I'm adding here and there on the stems of tulip flowers and just to give a sense of light uh, is there so yeah the same color mixed with little bit of yellow I think and and I'm adding it so basically what all colors I have used here are ultramarine blue white lemon yellow uh, scarlet lake uh, color very little bit uh, to make brown mixed with viridian hue uh, viridian hue black I think that's it all these colors mm. so here some more brownie that mixed brown I am using and I'm giving this shade under the this petals of flower uh, to give show the depth in flower now more depth as if um, the uh, bottom part of petals are a little, little bit darker in color so I'm adding there a little bit I'm sorry because of my hand this uh, camera is uh, getting out of focus sometimes and so here I'm adding some more little bit black I think I've added um, yeah, to make it more pronounced the more effect of the shade
now again i'm adding some white here because i think i have done more with black see this uh, so some more white some more depth to the flower and more reality uh, is given to it so is it actually acrylic painting is very very easy for any beginner if they want to start because it's very friendly color only problem with this acrylic paint i have found till now is that it's very fast and it gets dried very very quickly um and there's un unlike this oil paint or watercolor and once it is dried you can't use it again so it's important uh, to uh, like use little bit uh, take little on your palette and you can add if you need extra um, so yeah, just see here um, adding white now how the flower is looking the color has come more lively now it's looking more lively i think Yeah, I'm again after that I'm adding some more um, the same green mixed with little, little bit of yellow in it uh, to give a warm hue uh, warm color and uh, that nearby leaves will look more brighten up and lighten so I'm adding a more yellow to the same green and just I'm giving strokes here and there to give the look in depth so yeah after this i think i'm done and uh, please pardon me if you don't like uh, my voice kindly let me know i will only give the music here and so that uh, only watching also you can uh, learn this video and if you liked it kindly like and subscribe my channel and please comment what you want to learn more and next thank you so much for watching